Thank you for joining me still on panel AR real estimations. These prerequisite videos are very important for you to watch. Please don't skip them. If you really want to get the basic understanding of panel data and also how to run panel ARDL, I will encourage you to watch all these prerequisite videos. What I'm about to do right now will cover step eight, which is how you can estimate a panel ARDL model. These are all the steps coded in red that we have done in the previous videos. So again, I'm only going to show you how to estimate a panel ARDL model in this particular tutorial. So now let's proceed to estimate the model using the XTPMG uh, syntax. Because from the outcome of the Hussmann test, the PMG is the more efficient estimator to use. But before I run this code, let me just take a few moments to explain the way the code is spelled out. The XTPMG is the algorithm. The first listed variable here is a dependent variable with a difference operator. I showed you that under model specification, it comes with a difference operator. Then next, highlighted here, these are the short-run coefficients, also having the difference operator. So these are short-run coefficients. The LR here indicates long-run coefficients, and in brackets, or in parentheses, these are the long-run coefficients, and this will be the error correction term. So that is the way the PMG syntax is written. So the first one is for the general sample, while the code below it the moment you put the full option, it's going to show you the different uh, short-run coefficients for the units that make up the sample or for the groups that make up the sample. But let me run the first syntax to show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to run this. So here you have the pulled mean group regression. And the most important part of the table is the upper part of the table here, which shows the long-run coefficients. Remember that one of the assumptions of the pooled mean group estimator is that the long-run coefficients are the same across all the groups that make up the panel. So these are long-run coefficients. So I can easily say that in the long run, DCF has a negative impact on economic growth even at the 1% level. Why trade openness has uh, a positive impact on economic growth at the 1% level. This is for the general sample in the long run. So even though you are seeing an ECT here, please, this is not the error correction term. This indicates long run coefficients in the upper parts of the table. And below here, these are short run coefficients. Remember, one of the assumptions of the pooled mean group is that the short run coefficients and the error variances are not the same for each country in the panel. But because we are looking at the full sample in this case, this error correction term shows us that there is cointegration among the variables in the panel. So there is a long run cointegration at the 1% level. So any um, deviations from long run equilibrium are corrected at the 98% uh, adjustment speed. So this is how you interpret your results for the PMG. Again, these are long-run coefficients that are the same for all countries in the panel, but their respective short-run coefficients will differ. I'm going to run another code that shows you exactly what I mean. So this is the code I'm going to run for all the countries on the panel. I'm putting here the full option. I run it. So here we have the results. Look at the syntax that we executed with the full option. And you will observe one thing that the long run coefficients are the same for all the countries. This is homogeneous for all the countries on the panel. While the short run coefficients and the error variances differ. So this is for country one. The error correction term shows you that deviation from long run is corrected as 109%. For country two, deviation is also corrected at 109%. The ECT can be negative one, but not lower than negative two. So if you have any figure ready between negative one and negative two, that is fine. But once it is lower than negative two, you have to rerun your model. So you can see here that each country has different error correction terms, have different coefficients, or statistics for the variables. They are all different. This is because the assumption of the PMG is that only the long run coefficients are the same for all the groups that make up the panel, while each country or each group 
have their own respective error variances and short-run coefficients. So you can make a lot of comparative analysis from this result using one country to evaluate the other. And sometimes a country may have a positive error correction term which is also significant. All you have to say for that country is that there is no co-integration to long-run equilibrium. That is, for that country, the model is explosive because all these countries are heterogeneous, but they may have some level of semblance um, or something common to them. That is why the assumption of long-run homogeneity is very, very uh, plausible. So this is by using the full option you have the statistics for all the countries or for all the units or for all the firms that make up your panel but the long run coefficients will be the same for all of them you can also run these estimations for the subsample if you want to run it for uh, classification of countries under cfa all you need to do is to put the if command if you want to do the same thing for a uh, non-cfa countries all you have to do is to run the if command and you execute. So let me try for the CFA uh, countries. Execute this. And this is the result. So for CFA countries, this is the common long run coefficient to all of them. And this is the short run coefficient for all of them. Modify it again to suit the non CFA countries on the sample. And you have a different result. For instance, maybe you just want to explore by using the MG uh, estimator. Just change PMG to MG, and here you can see for DFE estimator to DFE. So if you run the MG estimator, you have a different result. So let's run that. This is the long run coefficients, and these uh, are the short run coefficients and the error correction term. By including the full option for the MG estimator, this is the result. You will observe that the structure of the table is completely different from that of the PMG result. Here you have each country's long run coefficients and their respective error variances and short run coefficients this is because the main group estimator assumes that all these countries are different and they have nothing in common that is why the main group estimator is less informative it does not tell you the commonness among the groups that make up the panel if you want to conduct for the dfe all you have to do is just to change mg or pmg to dfe and you run the model so that concludes my tutorial on how to estimate the model using the PMG estimator. In my next video, I will cover step 9 and 10, which is how to perform causality and diagnostics, even though these uh, tests are actually optional. Please, I will encourage you to always read. Do not skip all these papers. Try to read some so that it can build your level of confidence when you are estimating panel ARDL. Thank you for staying with me. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Share my videos and my links to your friends and your students and cohorts. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with the final part of the video.